Hey guys, what's up? I am Dustin Dean, and today we are going to um, mess with the bee tree. What I've done is I had a box right here, and we caught some swarms, and I ran out of equipment, and I had to steal their box, and they weren't really using it anyway. But I noticed they're building um, comb inside here. Um, this is this is the entryway into the tree, and the only reason why this is built here. And so that way they can go into to the box. Um, I had a whole video I did a thing on that. I'll put the link down in the description so y'all new here can get caught up on that. And they are loaded with pollen. Loaded, loaded with pollen. Crazy. That means there's lots of brood in there. Okay, guys, over here in the bee yard, I have this hive right here. That brown box on top is my bee tree box. You can see the tube. Um, out the back that goes into the to the tree and uh, my idea is, is that the bees just go through that tube into the box I'm hoping I would rather have the brood than the honey that's what I want and the reason why is because these bees in the tree were not is not uh, ruined by man somehow for who knows how long they've been surviving in a tree without dying but yet we can't seem to keep ours alive. Huh. It's a box I need. See, they've only drank about half. They're not using this up. That's been up there for quite a while. Uh, syrup. That tells me that there's nectar still. They're still getting nectar out there. Could they be getting nectar still out of the hay fields? They could, yeah, absolutely. That's that's one of the best places is the hay fields. Alfalfa? Oh, they love it. Okay, we've got our uh, got our box. I've got frames. I don't have the best of um of uh, foundation for them. I have there's some wax on here. This is old old wax. So maybe they'll draw off of that. So we'll put it on there and Hopefully we get some brood. So I wonder if this makes it no longer illegal. So what I'm, <laughs> that's a good. Uh, the the law is you have to have removable frames to your hive. So I'm adding frames to wild nature bees in hopes they don't come here and, and uh, try to murder my bees. Okay, I might be making that up as I go, but that sounds pretty good though. This is too just got to go in there. I did this last time, it seemed to work out pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay, we've got the uh, bee box in place. We got the, the tube tapped into the tree. And the only problem we have now is there's bees flying around everywhere trying to figure out how to get back into the tree. They do have a hole underneath there that they go in. And I think that, ow, son of a. And then they, uh, they can get in that way. See, they're fanning, they know. But I also have swarm commander I'm thinking about spraying just a little squirt on the entryway right here maybe I'll I just put a little bit right there maybe I'll get them in there or we'll take them off more alright they're pinging me in the head pretty hard yeah so, so there you have it guys the bee box is back into place
that's pretty cool, huh? Um, so anyway, I really, really, really would like, not the honey, but the brood. I'm hoping that as the chamber and the tree fills up, that they'll work their way into the, uh, the box right there and um, make uh, brood here in this box. I would rather have that than honey, believe it or not, because I really would like their, the gene of these bees. Um, they do not have mites, they don't have hive beetles, they somehow have managed to live with and thrive without the help of man. And we all know last time man intervened and tried to help out the bees and thus the killer bee was created. <laughs> what are you running? What are you running for? You're in a bee suit, why are you running? I had a bee in my hair. Well, that's what the hood's for. Well, I can't breathe. <laughs> You don't. You can't breathe. Looking like you're ready for a bomb squad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. There it is. Hopefully we can get some uh, uh, brood. brood. That'd be awesome. And then, then we'd put the brood, and we'd start like a whole other bee yard, mm -hmm. separate them from our bees. Okay. Also, guys, don't forget to go on to uh, the Etsy site and get your Let's Play Homestead hats. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed our little bee vlog um, with our illegal bee tree. And uh, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to look into it. It now has removable frames. Yeah. I don't think we're, I, I think we're now obeying the law. I think we're not breaking the law anymore. Somebody will find something that we've done wrong. That's right, somebody eventually. There's always a, there's always a government troll lurking nearby. Yeah. And um, but that's all right. We're hoping that you guys learn. I don't mind. I don't mind being harassed, and uh, I do mind. But um, the part that makes me feel good is that you guys learn. We all learn from yep. this, and um, so we're just trying to figure out. There's always a loophole. We got to find them. Mm -hmm. That's that's my advice. <laughs> Listen, children, you're not going to beat the government, but they do have loopholes because they're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, okay, <laughs> moving on, hmm. moving on. Um, thank you for watching our show. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and until um, next time.